Hey YouTube, today we're going to do a simple yet time consuming mod. I'm going to teach you how to turn this into this. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode here. Today I'm going to be trying to uh, paint my calipers and my bridge red using this stupid color caliper paint. Uh, it's important to use a good uh, caliper paint because this does get really hot under breaking and everything like that so you have to use a, a high temperature paint. Um, so I've already began by uh, removing my wheel. We got the vehicle supported. We've got blocks behind the, the rear wheels. I got axle stands and everything. Uh, so everything is uh, all steady. So we're going to start out by just cleaning the caliper. Okay. So basic simple instructions. There is a, a sheet to go through in here, but uh, this kit comes with enough paint to paint four calipers. Uh, it comes with paintbrush, the stir stick, and uh, caliper cleaner. So let's get started. One thing I did forget to mention is uh, you're going to need a towel to dry off the caliper after you spray the cleaner on it and uh, a toothbrush to just scrub all the extra dirt off. Um, it doesn't look too bad right now, but it is actually pretty dusty. Okay, so we will start off here by getting our cleaner ready. Give it a good shake, make sure everything's all stirred up. Let's get you cleaning. Now, you want to take your time doing this because it's all in the prep work. If you don't do uh, the steps properly and thoroughly clean everything like that, uh, the paint's going to peel off on you. But if you do things right, follow the directions, it's going to turn out well and it's actually going to last. Now that we got it all cleaned and I've given it an opportunity to dry off, uh, use the provided masking tape and we're going to mask off the areas that we're at. The rotor and the back side of the brake pads uh, you don't want to get paint on moving joints there's rubber gaskets and everything like that in through here so we're going to avoid painting those. Um, I'm not going to paint any of your brake hoses or anything we're just looking at painting the caliper itself here and the bridge. Alrighty, so this is the paint that comes with the kit. It comes with a stir stick and a brush. We've been stirring it for about a minute. It's a little thick at the bottom. You have to get everything all mixed back up, all right? Once you get that all stirred up, we got all of our masking done. Everything's clean. We want to avoid getting this paint on the rotor, so I mean, we could do a little bit more and tape off the rotor and stuff like that, but we'll uh, try to be really careful with the brush. Um, also, there's these metal clips right here that the brake pad does slide in. We do not want to paint those. Um, it was a little too much to try and get tape wrapped around in there and stuff like that. So we'll just use a little bit of caution uh, when we're painting with the brush. So uh, what we want to do here is thin coats and we'll end up doing two or three coats. Um, you want to be able to work carefully, but you want to go quickly because uh, this will start setting in about 10 minutes or so. So if you brush and you get down here and you come back up here and you touch it again um, it's just gonna start pilling up and balling on you so you once you get it on there 
uh, the paint will level itself in all the little pits and crevices and everything like that you don't want to go back and brush over it again because you'll end up with a rough finish okay so let's get started here Okay, this is the first coat done. It's been about 20 minutes or so. Um, I think I laid it on a little bit thick. It looks kind of rough here, uh, but I'm kind of hoping if uh, I do the second coat right, it'll smooth things out. It's actually supposed to be pretty thin. It's kind of still supposed to be like this little bit of grayish color, but I put it on a little sloppily right there. But uh, let's see what the second coat does for us, all right? So here it is, uh, second coat, about 20 minutes have gone through. Uh, the box basically says uh, do as many coats as necessary uh, to cover up brush strokes and, and cover up uh, the, uh, the caliper as best you can. Uh, it looks good after two. Yeah, I got a couple of little brush strokes in there, uh, but uh, I'll go over all that when I'm done here. But uh, there you have it, two layers.